How are you today? I am good. I'm Sweet. good. This is Michael Conte, Pole Fiction, Spain. Take it away. Um, congratulations. This film couldn't be timelier. No. <laughs> if, how, talk about that. I well, mean, it's funny. We, we, well, I remember it, it, they, they, Warner Brothers delayed the film because they, they liked it so much they wanted to put it on a big holiday, and that big holiday ended up being Easter 2017. And I remember at the time thinking, well, God, all these all these issues are so zeitgeisty now. I, I hope they still are in, 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 April, in April of 2017. And then literally the whole healthcare thing yesterday, I was like, this is like peak, this is like peak topic it's of like the a day. Movie. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's you can't, first of all, you couldn't make a film about seniors and not discuss all of these issues. Uh, um, you know, Michael Caine has a line where he says, you know, we'd be better off in, in prison. We'd have a, a bed, three meals a day and better healthcare. Um, so, I mean, it kind of sums up what these guys are fighting. Um, do you know anybody in your life that who is really affected, especially after <laughs> this travesty of an election? Um, in what way? By, by, by the whole Trump administration, the way things have turned out. Well, I think it's a little soon to say anything's been a, 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 a affected, um, but, uh, but I think everyone, everyone in the country is watching very closely to see how everything's going to play out. I think out. it's going to work out great. She's an optimist. That's excellent. Always have been, always will. Um, you've always been an optimist. Yes. Uh, how have things changed in Hollywood since you started? Oh, my. There used to be about three women behind the camera, a hairdresser, body makeup girl, and wardrobe girl. That was it. Except for during the day, uh, a secretary of the producer and a secretary of the director would come on maybe a couple times. That was it. But now uh, on this film, you look at the crew and, oh my goodness, a uh, grip, uh, uh, electricians. So electricians and carpenters, and I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. All right. <laughs> you, you know, you've been in movies with with uh, John Wayne, with 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 uh, with Elvis, <laughs> and you've sort of outlived them all. How do you feel about that? I have been so blessed working with all these incredibly interesting. Men, uh, I'm blessed. I, I don't know how in the heck this happened. <laughs> I wanted to be a performer, an entertainer, since I was four years old. In Valshabin, this little uh, village in the province of Jentland. Um, when Mother and I left to meet Daddy, there were 162 people. Now, two years ago, there's 98. And I still, I, I love to entertain people. I love to perform. I still get that, those, the juices. Well, you know, Zach, you, you, you were able to get some fantastic, uh, wonderful seasoned actors for your movie. Talk about, uh, was it, was it? <laughs> Difficult or well, getting putting this team together? Well, I, I have to say, is I think it was a testament to Ted Melfi's wonderful script that everyone wanted to do it. Um, he, he really just wrote something wonderful, and and uh, Donald Lyon, our producer, uh, really put together an amazing team. And uh, when I came aboard on the project, when it was offered to me by Warner Brothers, Morgan and Michael were already attached. So when this I, is their sixth film together too. Yeah, and when I so when I read it and knowing they were attached, and I love heist movies, I was like, this is a, this sounds like too good to be true. And then we went and, and got Alan and, and Anne Margaret and, uh, and and completed the team.